All right, what's going on guys? This is Maury and Mark from the Erie Better Beer Bureau. Today we have a special one. This is PNC from the Firestone Walker Brewing Company out of California. This is an Imperial Buckwheat Stout aged in tequila barrels. Yeah. Weighs in at 13.7%, uh, 450 cases produced, um, 12 months in the barrels, and 50 IBUs. This is a 2013 beer, the first time they've ever made this one. Yep. So we'll get into it, let you know what we think about it. Ooh. Wow. Well, yeah, that's tequila. Holy <laughs> yikes. <laughs> and this is a fresh one, too. I mean, you know, they just produced this, and uh, man, yeah, it definitely smells fresh. It <laughs> does. Tequila, I'm getting dark fruits. Chocolate, or dark roasted chocolatey oh man that's amazing yeah, yeah there's uh i'm not saying i'm not really sure what buckwheat smells like yeah <laughs> but there is a different roastiness in there that uh, i'm picking up whether that's the buckwheat yes. i don't know but there's a definitely a roast to it i'm getting a definite sweetness in there as well mm. like a molasses type yeah. of sweetness yeah molasses chocolate tequila tequila <laughs> a roastiness I'm getting dark fruits. I yeah, really am. Dark fruits, you know, yeah. I mean, they're coming out at me. I mean, yep. Wow. I'm not getting much alcohol on the nose at all. Really pleasant smelling beer. It smells. Yeah. It smells similar to a bourbon barrel aged imperial stout, but there's just that bit of difference that lets you know that it's a tequila barrel. Yeah. I mean, you know, way when I first smelled it, I mean, it, the tequila punched me in the mm -hmm. face. You know, but now it it almost you know it got a little subtle now. Cheers. Cheers, guys. Mm. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> that's a tasty beer. Wow. You know, it's not the darkest beer, like as far as Imperial styles mm -hmm. go, but it has a really nice creamy texture. It is. The kind of creamy. You know sweets over your palate um, there's a little bit of that more of that sweetness there like Definitely. a molasses light sweetness I'm getting the tequila yep uh, I'm getting a little bit of chocolate yep it's, it has that warmth going down mm -hmm. uh, being as fresh as it, as it is I'm kind of surprised I didn't get more of the tequila um, but it, it, right now it's a perfect blend I mean yeah, yeah and I honestly I just got more tequila on that second sip than I did on the first one. Mm -hmm. Especially on the back end, there's like a mm -hmm. little bit of a tequila finish yeah. on there. Yeah, and the dark fruits are popping out Yeah, too. absolutely. Yep. And I think it's the tequila that's on the finish mm -hmm. gives it a little bit of an alcohol taste on the finish. But I don't mind that no, at, all. Not at all. And for 13.7, it's still really <laughs> well hidden, so yeah, I'm not trying to say it's too boozy or anything, but it's noticeable. Like mm -hmm. I'm getting it a little bit. Yeah, and that uh, you know you're talking about the creaminess and the mouthfeel, and you know being as high a percent this is, it still has a nice creamy uh, you know frothy head around the edge, and it just has this incredible smoothness to it. Mm. I mean, it just drinks like a fine fine mm. beverage. Yeah. I mean, it it just does. It's smooth. Yep. You got some alcohol legs and some decent lacing for such a high percent alcohol, beer. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's really an impressive beer. I it mean, fire, everyone knows that's into barrel, uh, barrel aged mm -hmm. imperial stouts and barrel aged beers. Everyone knows that Firestone Walker has a great barrel po program. Yeah, and this beer is just a testament to that. All right, so for the PNC from Firestone Walker out of California. I'm going to go ahead and give this beer a 4.75 out of 5. Um, it is up there with some of the best barrel aged stouts I've ever had. Like I've mentioned earlier in the review, it's incredibly smooth. You get just enough of that boozy tequila character on the finish. Chocolate, dark fruits, tequila. Uh, it just has a little bit of vanilla from the barrels bunch of nice flavors that blend together really really nice i'm going to go 4.75 on this one 
All right, I'm going to go a little bit lower. I'm going to give it a four and a half. Um, you know, all the stouts that we've had, I tell you what, this, you know, this is up there. It's exceptional. Um, the flavors that are in there, they all balance perfectly. Nothing like um, overrides the other one. Um, <clears throat> I got to think, though, that, that give it a good year on this thing. I think it's going to tone down a little, little bit on the alcohol. The tequila is not overpowering by any means. Right. It, like I say, everything is perfectly balanced, but I think some other flavors are going to really pop. Thanks for that. <laughs> I got the first one. Um, yeah, uh, I'll give it a four and a half. I think there's a little bit of room for improvement in this. Um, still an exceptional beer, and I would, uh, I will be hunting for another one. <laughs> yes. So until next time, cheers. cheers.